I welcome everyone back to another episode of Victoria 2 Popular Demand Mod, where I am Austria! Okay, and this is actually not Austria, this is the middle of Asia. Why are we over here? Yeah, we're supposed to be over here. So, anyways guys, I've been reviewing the options off screen, and it basically comes down to this. We're gonna have a big war here. We're gonna have an actual international war here between two sides. It's going to be America, France, and Russia versus the UK, Prussia, and the Ottomans. And also the Netherlands, but we don't really care about those people. So, this means that I'm choosing between two sandwiches. I can either be sandwiched between Prussia and the Ottomans, or I can be sandwiched between France and Russia. Either one doesn't sound very good to me, but... It's honestly a tough decision, and I thought about it for a long time. Who did I want to ally myself with? Who was going to be the one I was going to choose? Ultimately, ultimately, I decided I was going to ally with the Americans only because, only because, it's America. Yeah. So, let's do it. I cast my vote into this, and... Wow, I may have actually just messed up the, uh, yeah, France, don't, uh, don't decide anything yet. I'm going to increase my relationships with you. Yeah, make, sh make sure you go on to this side, because otherwise, yeah, I just did a, I just did a long, okay, yes, they're more willing to come to this side, good. Yeah, because I was like, they were like 150 before this, so 150 in a way of America, but now they're at something else, so... Since we are going to go to war with uh, Prussia, we should start preparing our troops for that. Um, my idea is that I'm going to have two armies. One move down right here, another move down like down there. Um, yeah, it's going to be... This is going to be a war, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm frankly a little bit scared. <laughs> if I must be honest, I'm frankly a little bit scared. Um... Because this is going to be the first time we're ever going to fight against a, an army. And it's going to be big. Fighting both Prussia and the Ottomans will not be easy. Especially since the Prussians are about the same militaristic might we are. And the Prussians are just about the same we are. But the good thing about that is that Russia and the French will be fighting them at the same time. But the French are going to be busy with the UK. So that's going to be kind of nerve-wracking right there. Um, America, though. This is where America has to really step up. They have to really, really be able to you know, fight against Great Britain over here in Canada. Um, I haven't really assessed the American strength yet, but the, they're pretty strong in their own region, but I'm not, but um, UK is just stronger. The, the, uh, I'm just nervous, people. I'm just nervous. This is going to be an international crisis we have not seen before, and it's honestly quite tight. You guys going to come in yet? <laughs> okay, if France is not coming in, I'll be completely angry. Like, I probably should have waited. Uh, backed by ally. Wow, 40. Come on. Come on, France. Don't. Don't just stay on the sidelines, France. Oh, they are. Wow. France. No, come in. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is even worse than I thought. France decided to be a jerk and didn't come in. So... That means us and Russia, that means me and Russia are going to be fighting over here. That This is not good. This is not good. Russia can't fight. Russia can't fight Prussia by itself. And me, I'm already, I'm already, def I'm already like spread out with two fronts. So it's not going to be good for me either. Okay, but we're going to, we're going to have to weigh the options here. We're just going to try to take some quick land over here as quickly as possible. Um, Down here, we're just going to try to... Take some quick land as possible. Um, are we already mobilizing? Yes, we are. Okay, let's see how this plays out. The first moves are usually the most critical. Um, the Age of Liber- oh, shoot. So this is the first revolution or first fight that usually happens between me and my people. They usually want- Okay, get this by the way. They usually want to have like- um, Less tax evasion and all this kind of jazz. 
Uh, this this is this is gonna turn out to be a disaster. Okay. Um. I just helped you too, Netherlands. I just helped you. Well. Um. In terms of Russia's armies, this will be a good time to assess everything. Russia is going to be the good. Is going to be able to move in pretty quickly on the Ottomans. Um. America wise, I think America will actually be able to win this. Um. It seems like they have a lot more troops in Canada than the than the uh, British do. And having the actual war go underneath our score will definitely help us. And I just realized I forgot to turn up the uh, music, so let me do that now. There we go. Probably a couple of you guys are wondering, why is it so quiet right now? Yeah, that's the reason. Okay. Um, we're going to have to pay really close attention to the Prussians, though. I don't, to be honest, I don't really care what the Ottomans do, because the Ottomans aren't really uh, too important, especially since they don't have their little vassal guys of, of Egypt on the side. In fact, they're fighting against Egypt, so they should be less important than ever. But, um, since, yeah, since they are fighting against Egypt right now, I'm going to go send more men up to the Prussian front. Because this is where the real battles are going to be. Like, Prussia is going to be a, a, a pain of a nation to conquer. And we're just going to have to quickly, as quickly as possible, try to get to Berlin. Um, try not to engage them unless we really have to, unless we have superior numbers. Um, the Prussians have a special, a special military advantages. I can't explain them off on screen, but they basically get a ton of militaristic advantages that we don't usually get. Um, um, Russia, please do not send too many forces to the Ottoman lands. The Ottomans are going to be tied up with different um, battles, so they should not be too much of a threat. going to make my militia army right here, and I'm actually going to slow down the game to about 3%. I want to. This is this may take a while to fight people, but I want to make sure that I am not missing anything. Alright, and we do have to kind of think about the Netherlands, but not too hard. Not too hard. I'm not thinking too harshly about these guys. Um, okay, first engagement right there. Send my troops in to go reinforce them. Uh, most likely, we should be, we should have the general advantage here. Um, just because, well, for one, we actually have cannons. We have defensive cannons right here. Um, so we should have the upper advantage. Let's see how the battle's going to be rolling. Um, forces on my side not exactly winning. It's not exactly good. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, wait, we're moving that way. Good. Okay, fast forward just a little bit. Oh, my. See, this is why, this is why I hate fighting Prussia, is that the fact they have such powerful units. Ah, this is why I needed France to join in. That's what I was kind of banking on. Okay, they're obviously going to go destroy these guys. Just, 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 just send them down. Um... Is that Russian steel? I need it! Uh, we're gonna need the Russians not to focus on the Ottomans. You guys don't focus on the Ottomans. We need you guys to focus on the Prussians. The Prussians are the scary threat right now. Um, it's also scary that the fact that I have no money. I'm probably gonna go bankrupt, but that's all a side note. Um, yeah, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. We're gonna try, we're gonna try an offensive attack with our really good cavalrymen. We're gonna see if this is gonna do any kind of damage. This is like an advantage of epic proportions. But like I said, defeating the Prussian army is like an insanely hard thing to do. Alright, let's get right here. Get Berlin! Everyone attack Berlin! <laughs> I don't know how I made it to Berlin, but that's pretty awesome. Um somebody's calling me right now, which stopped the timer. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, people. That was just my one of my friends calling me about the recent game. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, and if you guys are like future, if you guys are like the future, this is like future in time. The time about now is about March Madness uh, season. So we were just talking about how my favorite team, um, our favorite team lost. So yeah, I'm, we're pretty shaken up about that. Um, but on a good note, we are destroying whatever Prussian armies right here. That's good. Um, the Prussians are actually. Pretty, like I said, look at look at that. Look at that power. Oh, Russia, you're not bringing enough. You're bringing too much down here. The, the Ottomans are going to be distracted. Ah. Oh. Okay, how is America doing? America seems to be basically destroying the uh, the UK, so we should get some war score from that. Um, we actually could win this very quickly here. Okay, so we don't have to stay... In we don't, basically what I'm saying is we don't have to be in this war for very much longer. We just have to make sure we get some more good territory, get some good battles won, 
By the way, uh, group up. Get some good battles won. Try to get Berlin. Berlin is going to be a major factor. If we can get Berlin, we basically have a, a huge advantage. Um, yeah, there we go. With Berlin underneath our belt, that basically put us at a very big advantage, which is what we needed. Um, we're still grouping up all of our men so that we don't die. <laughs> Uh, Russia is obviously not doing the right thing and not getting their good troops over here to over here to fight the Prussians. But we'll let that slide because you know what? I got Berlin right now. Um, I don't want to attack that. We, I wish, I wish my men would be healing right about now, but they obviously are not in the mood for that. They're obviously coming to attack me right there. I should go block that up. Um, can't block it. I don't think I'm going to be making it. Yeah. I, uh. They attacked me with a 34 stack. I should be able to win this. Not this one. This one's going to be losing. But I mean, I should be able to win this one right here. Because they attacked me. The problem is, is I'm losing so... Oh my goodness, this is losing so much. Let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... I, I, the AI advantage in this is so significant. I'm not... I'm not kidding you guys. Like, the AI gets such a good advantage in this game. And they're obviously attacking me in foreign lands... I'm trying to retreat, but it's obviously not working. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, and there's the uh, Ottomans finally starting to strike back. Uh, let's see, how are we doing in our grouping of units? Still don't have a big cons conscription. I, I really wish, one thing I wish I could do right now is do mandatory, like, draft. You all have to work. Yeah, the, the Prussians just crushed a major force of mine. But the good thing is, is that I think the Russians are still not over here. Yeah, please keep coming over here, Russia. We need you! Like, we need you! I can't hold them off much longer. They've already crushed some of my lines, but... Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, defenders, attackers, occupation is now starting to weigh in their favor. Uh, mostly because Prussia's usually... Prussia's just annihilating... Annihilating the Austrians and our forces. I, I, I can't... Uh, it's just... I can't fight them. It's just honestly, it's it's honestly like me being a Native American tech right now, and I just can't fight them. I could try the hardest I I could, but still they would still triumph. I mean, I'll try, but this is this is a pretty I wouldn't say loss, but it's going to be really unhopeful. Um, down here though, I'm going to put this unit over here to give these guys a numerical. About the sameness. We're also gonna go crush this army because I'm getting tired of the Ottomans over here. As soon as this army is all done, gonna go crush that army right there. Uh, this isn't the best put together army I've had. 42, 42 Austrian men versus their army. Let's see how we do. We have almost advantage numero everything. We should be able to win here. Yes, we did. Good job. Hunt that army down. Um. Okay, the Russians are starting to get back into this. Except they're not smartly attacking. Uh, this is this is this is going to be a close one. This one's going to be a close one. We're going to head off this army down here because we don't want. We want to kind of kill this army. No way! Wow. Okay. Um, how good are you attacking? You're pretty good at attacking, so that should be a pretty good battle right there. We're destroying this Austria. We're destroying this Prussian army right here because that's the only thing we can do. Um, yeah, we're destroying that Ottoman army down there. We destroyed that army. That's good. Let's go see. Is there any way we can go help our Russian allies? Because the Russians are going to be the main backbone to try to break the, uh, you know, Prussian army. We want to make sure they're completely supplied with enough meat shields, I should say. Um, we're going to... Let's go help crush some of these armies down here. Because that's the only way I think we're going to be able to be of the most help. Um, over here... Seems like, seems like the Ottomans are trying to do stuff. Uh, we're just gonna destroy them quickly with with zero morale. Yes, zero morale. I love when they get to zero morale. It's so nice. Um, in terms of attacks, I'm hoping maybe this Russian army right here will help attack. Uh, yeah, that's the, these guys are gonna have to deal with that. The 40k stack. I'm just I'm just here to go crush this 14k stack. Hopefully, we will be able to do it. Um, not sure though. Maybe Russia will send in reinforcements. Probably not. Yeah. Fonts. Ah, Fernandez dies. Dang it. That's not good. Okay, and at the same time, 
Um, we have our influence in Cardinalist Spain now becoming friendly. We're the only friendly nation, I think. So, you know, soon we'll be able to have that sphere of influence taken over, which does take care of my sphere of influence goals. Um, down here, though, it's still looking like a pretty big battle. Over here, it looks like we're having shares of, of debauchery happen. Uh, in terms of who's winning, Quiet Columbia, I really don't know. Because, <laughs> like, um, the militaristic strength right now is mostly, is mostly us, but I, I just don't know. This battle right here, though, is crucial. If we do not win this, yes! We pulled them down. It's good. We just got muzzle bloated rifles. Idealism. Let's get idealism. All right. And yeah, I, uh, this is this is pretty close. Um, let me see. In terms of craftsmen, we still don't have enough for either to take him out yet. Um, we just won that battle. That's good. Keep continuing. Follow the army. Um, with that battle won, we basically we're basically trying to turn the Russians front around so that we could use them for future use. There we go, some good rolls right there, um, not so good rolls, there we go. Crush their army down here. Um, Prussia is moving in with like one army, that's not entirely good, but they are slowly moving back. That's the good part. We have two big armies right here we have to contend with. Uh, one annoying Ottoman army down there. Okay, let's just pause it, go right here, go crush their army. Um, like I said, the Russians are sending in too many troops to go fight against the Ottomans. They should be sending in more troops to go fight the Prussians, because the Prussians are obviously the biggest threat here. Um, yeah, I'm going to go send my men back to go try to heal them up. Don't know how effective it's going to be, and we're about to go into debt. There's not much I can really do about that, though. There's not much I can really do about that. Um... Oh, you sons of annoyance. <laughs> okay, so let's just get this all up and up and running. Divide up the unit. Try to get an evenly balanced unit out here. We have to heal up just a little bit. I think just a, we can heal up for like maybe a couple months. Like one or two months, we could probably heal up. And that'll be fine. I don't think they're going to advance too much into this. Because I think we're going to be able to crush them. Um... The good thing, though, is that once Russia's done with the Ottomans, we'll be able to go fight them and kill them. Okay. Destroy these guys, please. Yeah. Just destroy them, please. I want them completely... There we go. I think we finally got them. I think we finally got this front. Down here, though. Let's see how much did they heal. Okay, they healed a pretty good amount. Um... Not enough to the point where I can group them back up, but we just need them to kind of rest. We just need our units to kind of rest and relax and just kind of, you know, don't short circuit right now. Because there's not much we can really do other than just wait and see what happens. As you can see, though, the Prussians are starting to destroy all their forces. We still haven't destroyed this one Ottoman army, which is annoying me. The Blight of 14... Sure, let's do that. Let's go... Yeah, see, we're just we're just not big enough to destroy that army completely, and Russia's waste. <sighs> I, I'm, I know I keep picking on Russia, and it's time for me to go, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ah, uh, welcome back, everyone, to an exciting war where it's not exactly turning out in the way I wanted, mostly because of Russia's inability to realize who the biggest threat is in this war. I mean, it it really it really is. The, uh, it really is the Prussians right now, and I'm also kind of mad that the French didn't join in. I mean, I would have just stayed out of the war if I had known that the French were just going to not join in. That was the only reason why I really, I really tipped my hat in that favor was I thought I was going to get sandwiched. So apparently they don't want to do that. Um, let's see. You guys, hunt these guys down until they're all dead. I mean, I'm not even joking. Hunt them down until they're dead. Okay. Um, over here, we're trying to heal up our units so they don't die. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the units have already, like, suffered major casualties. We're basically, speak Hungarian! Oh, no, that's not good. That means that we're soon gonna have Hungarians rise up in our nation, which about now would be a terrible, would be a terrible but great time for them to attack. Um, 
Oof. Seems like Prussia has stopped focusing in on me too much, which is good. But we still don't have a powerful enough army to go just outright attack them. Because right now we're dealing with stupid... Okay. We just finished up our little... Let's go... Let's go... Let's go, like, get down on Severo. Make sure that we conquer this, and then... We'll send these soldiers upwards to go fight a bigger army. Russia is obviously crushing down on the Ottomans. Hopefully we can maybe get them out. Peace steel wise, we are fighting this pretty hardly. Um, Prussians have a 41 advantage. The Russians have an 89 and me have a 41. So basically Prussia is as strong as me right now. Uh, that's not good still. Um, we're going to wait one more month and then maybe we'll be strong enough to go attack that one unit. Okay. So we're just waiting. Basically what we're doing, people, is we're waiting for our army to heal up. Okay. There we go. Go attack from two fronts. Actually, you guys move in slightly closer. Be before we move in, move in slightly closer so we can get that pincher. There we go. Move in that way. These guys are going to arrive on October 2nd. These guys, when would you guys arrive on September 30th? Wait a little bit. Okay, there we go. That should be enough time. October 4th, yeah. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, there we go. We have a disadvantage, but now we have an advantage. Um, We're crushing them. We're crushing them. We're definitely crushing them. Ooh, that was... That was a slaughter right there by our men. Group them up again. Go destroy whatever men we can right here. Um, Yeah, we're just trying to destroy little tiny stacks here in the Prussian's army. We're keeping an army right there, and yeah, I guess I guess the good thing about this is that once all the Ottomans are done, we can easily go back in and go fight. I guess that'll be good. I mean, they they could use all that army to come fight, help fight us, help help us. There's the words. Okay, and we're destroying. Yes, we completely destroy the Prussian army. The good thing about the Prussian army is that once you destroy one unit of theirs, they usually crumble. So once you chase them down and try to hunt them, they're usually pretty easy. Um. That unit, I could possibly save. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're trying to save. We're trying to save these units before they got squished. Um, in terms of how well we did that, quarantine the province. I don't care. You do not do anything. Um, we didn't do exactly a good job. Uh, <laughs> they all died. But the good thing about this is that Defender's Occupation is kind of not winning us out. Do they have any troops near my land? Because I'll destroy them if they have any troops near my land. Oh, wait. No, no. Ah, dang it. I reset that. Okay, that's kind of sad. But, yeah. We're kind of just waiting here to see what happens. Um, ooh. Britain apparently came over with like 220k stacks. America, I'm hoping you guys can deal with that. Um... Man, this is just an all-around, like... Wow, I lost so many troops doing that watch. Get back everyone to the line. I think what I'm going to do is demobilize for a second, and then mobilize again. Okay? Because I feel like almost... Neptune has been discovered by Switzerland! That usually never happens. Um, the Ottomans go bankrupt. That's good to note. I'm probably going to go bankrupt here in a second, too, but... Uh, Premier of Nekapau. Yay! Uh, sure, Greece, we can be allies. Um, Russia, you guys better come in here quick. Okay, I'm just gonna have to pull out my troops, send them over here. Alright. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have to wait till our, till our mobilization helps, happens again. Because we honestly don't have the troops right now. We're basically, we're basically doing an honorable retreat. Because we lost so many troops. Go put the manpower behind here. Hmm. Russia's not out. That's definitely not the case. Russia's not out. But they need to finish up the conquest of the Ottomans. It's, it's honestly hurting us. Let's go group up all of our men. Um, what we're going to go do is go attack that 9 stack. Oh, dang it. Well, that 9 stack will be just... Yeah, <laughs> I can't even say the words. Okay. Um, okay, group up all these guys, um, how many are not supported, cause, oh man, these guys are so dead, okay, well, let's go, 
Let's go see if we can go do another miracle. This guy, Wilner has been... Wilder de Hochbuck has been doing majorly good about advancing our um, provinces. He's been doing a good job of fighting the Prussians, but I'm not sure if we'll... The retreating, that's obviously a good sign right there. Um, we're going to try to push back the Prussian army. Um, seems like the Russians are still scattering in, which is good. They're almost done with their Ottomans. Good. Almost done. They just have a couple more provinces, and then they can start helping us in the north. Which they really need to do, because this is still such a close battle. Ah, oh, man, this is such a close battle that they even, they even have... Even had added another war goal. Okay, well we're we're obviously gonna win that. Okay, man, Russia, you got crushed. Okay, we're just gonna crush these guys right here. Mhm. Mm and if you guys are wondering why I'm not building up any more units and why I'm being so quiet, is because I'm really trying to focus here. Okay, obviously now they're just trying to be trolls and trying to think that that that's gonna be able to break through my land. Yeah, no. Uh no. I'm not an idiot. I know how to fight this. Okay. Russia, come on, get your troops out of there. Start sending them upwards. Cause we need your mighty strength. Okay, that that unit will keep them there, and then this unit will go in and go destroy them. Yeah, there's no there's no way two ops can defeat us. Yeah, there we go. And then that two unit will... That two unit, unit is basically just a distraction. It's basically there just to keep... To make sure that they keep there. And so then from there what we do is we usually just go in and attack them. Ooh, we lost it though that time. But we still... It's still going to destroy most of their army right here. And then we're going to go fight this little stack right here. Um, of course not. Flashpoint tensions. Uh... Russia officially got back all this land. Uh, there's officially, as far as I can see, three big Prussian armies left. Um, and since Russia can't move in over here, um, we should they should actually be moving their troops up to Prussia really, really soon here. So that should be really good. Yeah, and they're obviously using cheats right now to get yeah, nah. No, you guys don't get to do that. Um, they're obviously using cheats right now to make sure the army isn't broken, but not really cheats. They're using different lands that I don't want them to use, and I can't really invade, so that's why I consider a cheat. Um, yeah, this is Acquire Moldaves, yeah. Uh, okay, how is America doing? Oh, goodness, America, how are you losing to the British? That's embarrassing. You guys didn't have a fleet? Okay, well that's definitely not good on our fronts. Um, in terms of militaristic might, we're gonna go try to hit them. Hopefully they don't move. I'm really hoping they do not move at all. They don't move? Yes, they're not gonna move. They're not gonna be able to get away. Not gonna be able to get away. Yes! Okay, there we go. We smashed them. We completely smashed them in foreign soil. Okay, so that means we got only two armies we have to really contend with. Or oh, one army, basically one army for us and two armies for the Russians. The Russians right now have a significant amount of army over here now, so I'm not exactly too worried anymore, but they just need to act smartly with it. That's the only thing I am worried, though. Russia hasn't been known for its militaristic tactics. I mean, let's be honest here. The way they stopped Napoleon was that they burned their own, they burned their own country to the ground. So, hmm, a little bit worried here. All right. Uh, Tuscany, do you guys want alliance? I don't really care about you guys. Uh, I wish I could say I do, but I just don't. Okay, get you guys. Get get my army grouped up. We're gonna we're gonna go and try to attack this stack right here and see if we can make a difference. Um, with the Russians, they're obviously coming over from over here, which is good. They basically got all the land they needed to sieged up, and I think. The, Eng the, um, the Egyptians are about to become free here soon, which is good, so on a side note, I'm going to justify a war to demand a concession. So take... Um, do I think they're going to be done by that point? Yes, I do believe we're probably going to be done with the war by that point, so I better start justifying the concession now. 
so I can do that. Um, and then with this army right here, we're gonna go try to hit this. I I'm not sure if we have enough, actually. We're gonna try to. Ah. Uh, okay, come on, do not lose, do not lose. Come on, come on, come on. Keep, keep the numerical advantage. That's that's really where we have to keep it slight. I'm also gonna see if I can upgrade my military a little bit. I mean, as long as we keep, we have to keep hitting them harder than they're hitting us. Nope, they're hitting us harder. Russia, will you come help me? Uh, 5% genuism, actually. Dang. It was a noble effort, but ultimately we failed. Um, but the good thing is, is that they didn't heal. That unit did not heal, so we're going to go quickly go see if we can go smash them again. We got 21 versus 14. This is even a bigger lead than what we had. And I think I now have Cardinalist Spain underneath my... Yep, I have it underneath my sphere. So, they're now officially a part of my empire. Kudos. Well, not officially part of my empire. They're officially part of my sphering. And now I'm going to start working on Brazil. While I think I'm going to work on Portugal. I don't think I want to go into separate... Separate in, in, yeah, energies with this. But I'll work on both. Um. Yeah, okay. We're also going to see if we can break these. Come on. Keep hitting them, keep hitting them, just keep on giving, yeah, keep just, ah. Oh. <laughs> well, I still got 21 versus 13. <laughs> and they're probably, they're probably going to take that over. I'm just going to keep smashing them. Oh, gosh. This isn't exact. this isn't a smart strategy, people, but I'm just trying to see if I can get these guys while they're down, but it doesn't look like it. They look like they're going to keep together. My men, my men are spent. <laughs> if I must be honest with you, my men are going to be spent, and we're going to spend... Oh, let's see. How much are we in debt right now? Oh, gosh. We owe the French so much. Curse you, France. Okay, yeah. We're going to be spending a lot of time in the in the years to come just trying to get our war score back. Oh, our military back up to speed because this is... This was a truly devastating war. Um, in fact... In fact, I, I realize we're not going to be up to speed when this all happens, so actually end this right there because we're gonna we're gonna have to spend like two years of just rebuilding our army I mean but the good thing is is that Russia's finally starting to get it I think I think I mean I'm not sure I'm also gonna move these guys over here so at least while this while they're healing up they can at least be sieging down some land okay um Russia is almost finished up completely with what they want to accomplish. <sighs> Good job, Russia. Good job. You entirely seized up the Ottomans, while the bigger threat is still bigger threat. Um, that 32 death stack right there is definitely not something to frown upon. In fact, I'm gonna go try to, I'm gonna go try to engage it with our men to see if we can try to turn something around. Because we need to, we need the Russians to kind of group up here. There we go. We got 33 death stack right here. Um, and this is this is the vast Prussian big army. Because this isn't really a big army. This is just kind of a compilation of troops. But if we can get the last army to attack on a really good amount of men, we could possibly have a really good battle. Um, we're also going to just help the Russians recede some of the land, which is nice. It really is. But yeah, I will, the two stacks will be dead. Um, let's see. Let's just, yeah, just re-siege everything. We're just gonna help Prussians as much as we can up here. We'll help. Yeah, let's just get rid of all the men that aren't being manned. I can't really. <laughs> my men are so dead. My men are literally like are drowning in their own deathness. Okay, but we're. We're just helping Russia just kind of reconquer all the land quickly and effectively. That way we can get on to the real battle. Um, and yeah, they're moving. They're definitely moving out of the way so they don't. Oh, dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! That's a battle I need. That's a battle I need. <sighs> yes, they moved away. Good. Okay, just stay right here. We'll siege down the rest of this. Um, Russians are moving in all their army, and the Prussians obviously attacked us, suffering not as much loss as I would have hoped, but ultimately we won that battle, they weren't going to win it, 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, and of course not. Okay, let's see. Do we have all the men pulled out of out of here? No, we do not. Plus, now Ottomans have now gotten their territory. Look, can I just get out of this with a white piece? <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is like for all part for all intents and purposes, this is like a, a stalemate of a war. This is this is like the World War before it was a World War. Gosh. Okay, let's just pull back our men. I'm gonna demobilize for a second because I really don't. There's really no point in like keeping our men stranded, I guess. I'm just gonna go have my men go inside and see if we can heal up just a little bit. Provide just a little bit of relief for my men. Um, how effective it will be, I have no clue, but we got our good bureaucrats here, so that means we got a solid line of good contemporary people here. Being being good bureaucrats, let's move down here to right over here. Just keep increasing my control over my land, so we make sure we have a hundred percent efficiency everywhere. All right, and yeah, <laughs> this is definitely not how I planned it. I think me and Rus I think Russia and I have basically lost, because Russia only has a hundred and five strength. Russia has 53 strength, and that 53 strength is worth like 4 Russians, so I think we've lost this battle, but I'm not entirely giving up, but it's... Uh, until we can crush these 3 death stacks right here, we're just not going to get into it. And my army's spent. My army's completely spent. I can't... I cannot tell you how spent it is. Like, we have absolutely nothing we can do. And you know what? I'm just gonna have to stop paying these guys. Stop paying these guys. Stop paying. Stop paying. Stop paying. Uh, taxes. Tax it up. Let's see if that's gonna help us a little bit. Um. Yeah, this is. Get the. Get the. Cons get like the spending on the units up to the max. Um, yeah, I'm in desperate times right now. Uh, okay. Move up our soldiers over here. We do have a kind of lonely little stack right there. We could probably, we could probably go do some stuff with that. Um, in terms of Russia, seems like they're moving in faster than they can kill. Which gives us the major advantage again. Man, this, this has been such like a roller coaster. I have no clue who's gonna win this. Okay, we got a good amount of soldiers off. We're not doing one landed. We can do state controlled unions, okay? I don't usually like unions, but there's actually a reason why I'm gonna do this. And, um. Go start hunting these guys down. Portugal wise, I think we're about to cause this bell eye. We got Casas Belli against them. It's good. Portugal wise, let's increase our relationship with them. This is what I wanted to. And then for this, we have a much bigger army than they do. I think we might. No, we can't. We can't catch them while we're over here. We have to move over to this province and then go to here. This is just way too big of a gap. We're going to try to crush this pro these guys over here. There we go. And then, they can't get away this time. I got them. And, I'm sorry guys, that's the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.